New this evening, this school year, many Alabama administrators will have a first of its kind decision to make whether they want to take part in a program that would allow them to have a gun at school and use lethal force to protect students. Way 31's Naja Sherman spoke to the Jackson County School Superintendent and a teacher about this controversial program. Special education teacher Melanie Geiger is taking part in a leadership academy for Jackson County Schools. This room is full of principals, assistant principals, and teachers from these 17 schools in the Jackson County School District. Geiger told me this year, as educators prepare for the classroom, there is also another big topic of conversation, keeping guns on campus to protect students. We've talked a lot about this at school with other teachers when this came up, and we you know, we discussed amongst ourselves who would feel comfortable, who would not feel comfortable. Jackson County School Superintendent Kevin Dukes told me 11 of his 17 administrators expressed interest in going through the Alabama Century program. It allows school administrators who are certified to use lethal force to defend students in the case of an active shooter situation. Governor Kay Ivey didn't go through lawmakers and issued the executive order in May. It lets schools without full-time school resource officers keep a gun on the property and gives trained administrators access to the weapon, but only administrators, not teachers. It puts the teachers in a bad position because, again, they got into this business for the love of students mm -hmm. and, and to teach students and, and all that. And who would have thought that we're sitting here having a, have a conversation about guns in schools just to protect our, our students. It's, it's crazy. Superintendent Dukes told me arming anyone is a last resort and right now the district is exploring other measures including putting cameras in the classroom so if an active shooter entered a school the sheriff's department would have a live feed of what is going on. Geiger told me she hopes the district comes up with more solutions to avoid guns on campus. I have a gun. I have a gun permit. I do not feel comfortable carrying a gun in the school system. Superintendent Duke says if the school board approves the measure and his administrators go through the training, he'll be right there with them and learn to use lethal force in a worst case scenario. If we do choose that route to go through the center program, absolutely, I will go through the program with everybody else. School boards still have to vote on whether they want to implement the program. Then administrators who volunteer will have to go through extensive training and a mental health evaluation. For Way 31 News, I'm Naja Sherman. School sentries are required to keep their firearms in a secured weapons storage system.